Hello people, hi! MGS Man again. This is me just going to show you the sort of the world that I've been playing in for the last sort of couple of months or so. Uh, where my good friend Turbo Tooley has been joining me to basically get all the trophies, or at least the remaining trophies, the slightly more difficult ones to get. Uh, anyway. Here is my cacti defense system, uh, which is quite effective actually. Uh, there's a trench there for any zombies to fall into if they happen to follow us. Uh, or any skeletons, or any kind of walking, except spiders, because they can climb up. Some of them try to climb up the cactuses and get hurt quite a lot, so it doesn't take much to kill them, which is nice. Um, this. As you may have seen, I don't know if I did I show in a previous video, I'm not sure. This is my 500 meter rail. This is what you would need to ride if you wanted the um, the trophy uh, that I forget the name of and I didn't jump into the cart, did I? I'm pressing the wrong buttons. No, not that one. That one. Thank you. Can we go back? As I was saying, <laughs> this is the rail that you would need to ride in order to get the trophy for the 500 meter rail track ride because it works out. <coughs> excuse me, it works out at just over 500 meters. I'm not exactly sure how much. It's only a little bit, maybe an extra 10 blocks or something. Um, and if you look to your right, you shall see lots of trees. If you look to your left, you shall see more trees in a kind of swampy area. If you look to your right again, you'll just see lots of grass. And here we are, this is the end of the road. I don't know why I wanted to sing that, but um, there you go, sorry about that. Anyway, this is a, a kind of extreme hills biome I think you could call it because it's got very tall lumps of stone and dirt so uh, over there there's actually a ravine you can see just uh, if I bring that up if you can see just there that is a bit uh, what you what some people call a nerd pole uh, it's got torches on and it's to indicate that there is a cave down there um, there's actually a ravine just over there as well, which is actually rather interesting. It was where I saw my first slime in the... No, actually, my second slime in the game. My first slime was when I was over... Uh, sort of over that way, uh, adventuring. Anyway, let's head back. Oh, there's another ravine there, as you may notice. Um, and here we go. <laughs> there's uh, quite a bit of water over there. Over... I walked around that part and there was quite a bit of sugar cane, which I shall explain in a moment. There's a bit of stone over there. I don't understand why you get that exposed stone. It's uh, a strange thing. A bit of a, another... I've noticed there are quite a lot of like ravine-type sort of chunks taken out of the world. Here we are back at the village, um, and it's starting to get dark, which... It's okay, because we shall be going underground. Uh, there's a couple of golems that some nice friend came and uh, built by <laughs> using up a lot of our uh, iron without asking. That was rather naughty. Uh, there's, I think that side of the farm, if I do this. Oh, there's another golem. That was, well... Is it there another goal? Yeah. Uh, we've got three. Uh, the other one was made by Turbo Tuli purely because he wanted to get the trophy for making one. That was the one trophy that he was missing. He actually got that trophy after we defeated the Enderman. Well, not the Enderman, the Ender Dragon, sorry. <laughs> Enderman. Wow, you defeated the Enderman. Anyway, this is our little village. There's pretty much one of each building here. You've got like a little house there. Uh, with the different roofs. You've got the large house there. Uh, that is... I think that... Which one's which? 
that's the uh, blacksmith's right there. That would be the library right there, I think. And I'm pressing the wrong button again because I wanted to stand up. Of course, there's a church uh, just there. And, well, obviously there's the well because what is a village without a well? Um, there were a couple of horses in there until we went on a bit of an adventure. We took them uh, when we went to find the end portal. Uh, uh, yeah, the end portal. Which I kind of almost found previously. Now, I think I made a video of it. I'm not sure. Two by two, he said I did. But I'm not. I can't remember. I'll uh, probably have to have a look. Over there is where, obviously, because all the sugar came there, that's where um, we harvest all that for paper. Um, let me drop down to there with the, the least amount of damage. These are Turbo Tully's dogs. <laughs> um, they kind of just sit there while he's not on the, no, while he's not playing. Because obviously I can't do anything with them. I could hit them, but I don't want, no, I don't want to. No, 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 I'm only, I'm, I, yeah, I'm, I'm only, I'm not saying I will, I'm that I want to. No, I could. Because that's the only action that I can, but I'm not going to. Anyway, talking of animals, here's our chickens. Which, I thought we only had five, apparently we have six. The three that side, three that side, as you can probably see. And they provide lots of eggs, which are kind of useless. One of, probably one of the most useless things in the game, except for making cake. Uh, just three cows because others were slaughtered for their, not so much beef, but for the leather. Um, because, of, well, to make books. That's why we've got all that sugar cane there to make lovely paper. And we've got the cows there to get leather from. So there you go. <laughs> this is my humble abode. This was a small house. This was a library. I decided to connect them together <laughs> and make one house. Ta da! Uh, who lives in a house like this? Well, up the corner here we have our uh, lava flowing down. This is where you can come and throw away things into the lava to destroy them rather than just dump them. Uh, this. Oh! Um. Um, oh, why is he there? Hello, why, have, why are you there? Go away. So I'm, I'm showing, actually, they're my, th those are my pigs. Um, <laughs> this is the strange story of the pigs. Once upon a time, Turbo Tooley made a sheep pit where we kept sheep. Sheep. <laughs> yeah. Although... <laughs> Animals and even mobs, such as uh, zombies, were also falling into there. And so I decided to fill the hole in and make a proper like, pen style. Thing. So I did that. She escaped. I had a dog at the time who. Have I got... Ah, that's a sword. Let's just get rid of uh, this guy. Go away. Your name's not Dan. You're not coming in. Ooh, he's dropped his, uh, his armour. Thank you. Uh, is, is there a, the other guy around here? Oh, he, he seems to have gone down there. Okay. Right. Anyway. <laughs> As the story... Uh, oh, girls, the sheep just jumped out. The sheep really pig. Um, there was nothing in there because everything... I, I ended up with one sheep. A creeper came along, went kaboom, and blew up pretty much everything. I rebuilt, and so the pen was empty. One day, I looked through the window, <laughs> and... I saw a pig. 
I have no idea where he appeared from, but he had a pig. The days went by, and we gained three pigs. Turbo Tooley hadn't done anything, he hadn't uh, put another pig in there and bred them. I hadn't put another pig in there and bred them. But we somehow mysteriously gained three pigs out of nowhere. Now they have been bred, that's why we've got like... I think there's actually about six in there now, there's double. But that's the story. <laughs> um, we just, like, like, the pigs just appeared, <laughs> basically. So anyway, that's that bit. Uh, this is the hopper system where you can put things in there. It will go into the furnace there, cook, blah, blah, blah. It will drop into there, and then it will drop into there. The latest thing you can see there was charcoal. We chuck other general stuff in there as well. A couple of lava buckets, <coughs> excuse me, because I was, um, well, I needed a lot of uh, heat to basically, as I say, cook whatever it was I was doing. As you can see there, the, the rail has been lit up so far, so the mobs don't spawn on there, because they were. <laughs> this is a bit of a general chest, it's like just wool and bones mostly in there. There, there's lots of paper, that's come from uh, harvesting that sugar cane down there, obviously. And we keep sand in there as well, that's uh, also a bit of wood in there. And there's a furnace there with a bit of coal in. This is just for a bit of, like, quick crafting. You've got the crafting table and the furnace. That, that's your basics right there. Then that's what that is for. Just basic, quick crafting and stuff. Same with that one. Like I said, we've got a couple of lava buckets there. Uh, stone, that was what I was making. I don't know why, actually. I, I, I did have an idea of what to do with stone, but I didn't implement it. I am considering making an iron door to go there, in, instead of this uh, old normal wood door, so that's something to do. This which was the old small house, which originally had these sort of sunk into the ground and a bed there, you probably may remember that from uh, any old videos that it may have been in. Uh, there we've got boats, dirt, seeds mainly, in there it's pretty much, oh, excuse me, miscellaneous, I don't know, I'm yawning, I think it's all the talking, uh, actually that trap was meant to be down so I could go, and down here, <laughs> we have the main base of operations. Anyway, that's uh, okay. I have literally recently just refurbed all this. All this. All me. It's all me. Oh no, this is not Far Cry 3, it's Minecraft. Um, all this is what I did literally earlier on. Because I disabled autosave, when I came to record this, obviously using um, the Elgato, um, I hadn't saved it. And to use the Elgato to record, I needed to turn off HDCP. So with the console, I went and turned off HDCP in the system settings and that kind of exited the game. Now, the thing is, I hadn't saved the game manually and so all the work that it, it took to do this ceiling, and it did take a lot of work because above there there's like just sandstone and a lot of sand and actually the animals are kind of above a bit there. They're okay because they're on dirt so they're not going to fall down on top of me. Um, but... Yeah. 
a lot of work, and I think it, about an hour's worth of work because I didn't use my good tools. Um, although I've got my diamond pickaxe with my stuff on there, I actually used a stone axe to hack away all the root, the ceiling there. I was having sand come falling down, and I had to clear all that up. That's why I've got my shovel in on me as well, and it took a while. So I was pretty gutted when I found it that I had to do that and I thought God damn it I hadn't saved. It did pay me off a little bit, I must admit. Uh, I don't easily get paid off, but when you could understand when it's a game like this you've worked on something for a while, even if it's only an hour. And something like that happens and you don't save and it's like oh my god so here we go with a tour of my both molds. This is where I keep the wither skeleton uh, skeleton skulls. Uh, the, we've only got two at the moment. We will get a third because the 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 Ender Dragon Egg. Uh, I didn't record or stream killing the ender dragon because I thought what's the point once you've seen somebody kill the ender dragon there's nothing else you can do there's no fancy way of doing it it's just literally going in there pinging arrows at him trying to avoid the big purple sphere that he shoots at you and avoid dying and avoiding enderman which I managed to do quite well well turbo totally stayed at the top of one of the columns so he was he was safe from the Enderman, maybe not so safe from the Ender Dragon. Uh, I was safe from the Enderman. I was wearing a pumpkin head, so I couldn't. See, well, you know, you, you can't see them directly in the face or looking right into their eyes or something. So we did it that way, and I didn't record it because I thought, like I say, once you've seen it, you you've seen it. Uh, once you've seen the Ender Dragon egg. There are probably like hundreds of videos on YouTube that you would see somebody saying, I got the Ender Dragon egg. Did you see me beat it? You know, no, whatever. What we will be recording and streaming, actually, is when we take on the Wither. Uh, we'll be. We will be. <laughs> Turbo Tully and myself shall be entering the Nether. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, to find a wither skeleton who will kindly provide us with a third skull, and then we shall be taking on the wither. Turbo Tully has a way of beating it very quickly, apparently, and that is what we will be trying. So, please join us for that. The description will, uh, description links and stuff will be in the description. I'm recording this, oh jeez, early hours of, uh, of Saturday morning, the 7th of February, uh, but I won't be recording, well, Turbo Tully won't be able to join me again until, I think, Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday, anyway, so, uh, yeah, we will be taking on the weather. Let me go through these. Uh, tools and weapons in there mainly. Uh, in that one, lots of cobblestone, because it does come in handy, as you can see. Uh, in that one, this is going to be more for just wood. But I think we'll probably keep all the stuff in there. I may move this wheat to a chest upstairs. So, I don't know. This one is our precious resource one. Uh, oh, actually, I can put the gold back there and the lapis lazuli back there. Now, well, Iceman, why do you have those precious resources upon your person? Well, I will show you in a moment. These are the beds, obviously, we sleep on when it gets to night. This is the clock to tell us when it's night time. Anvil, obviously, for repairing stuff. Might as well have a crafting table down here as well. 
The one thing we don't have is a furnace, but might seem silly. We don't really need a furnace, but saying that I might actually put one down there to put our brewing stand on. Uh, because there we've got mostly, f well, mostly, um, we've got iron ore in there for some reason. I'll take that out. <laughs> we've got four gas tiers. Actually, I'll take that out. Oh, we've got eggs in there. Uh, let's add those eggs um, into there for now. Um, right. Uh, so like I say, yeah, that's m it's supposed to be a food, <laughs> food thing. I mean, we've got oh, 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 put those, oh geez, just over a stack of baked potatoes there. Um, some enchanted books, a few maps, some bottles. We've got a potion of fire resistance. We actually need to make another one of those when we go back into the Nether to try and get that other wizard skeleton skull. A uh, potion of healing that was something to do with Turbo Tullian throwing it at the skeletons at the XP spoiler, which I will show you briefly in a moment. This is sort of a... Oh, oh, oh! Furnace! Okay. Uh, can I... Can I just get that? No. Oh, let me see. Hmm, hmm. Now I'll put, if I put that furnace there, uh, where's the stand? Potion of Regeneration, ooh. I think that was in preparation for fighting the Ender Dragon. Oh. Uh. Oh, shoot. I wonder, did I just break that for no reason? Oh, crap. Oh well, we can make a new brewing sand. Over here is a, a chest of nether stuff. This is the glowstone dust, some magma cream, blaze rods, which we've picked up, some nether quartz, a whole ton of nether brick, which is uh, which is quite handy because as I take you down here, well, there's the salt sand and the, the uh, nether wart. As I bring you down here, <gasps> ooh, pretty. This design was kind of influenced, I will admit, it was influenced by a guy called Monero, who makes uh, videos on YouTube uh, of Minecraft, PS4 Minecraft, and PC modded Minecraft as well. Uh, this is our enchanting area. Oh, how enchanting! Um, and I thought, mm, I'm going to make this a bit different. Obviously, I, took, I kind of dug out all the floor, put, it, put all cobblestone around, obviously. And then I thought, okay, I am going to put nether brick here as the floor, which I think gives it that slightly dark, mysterious look. Then I had an idea. When I saw that he used nether, um, sorry, redstone lamp, I thought, okay. But the problem with nether, uh, nether stone, <laughs> redstone lamps is that you need a redstone torch for it to work. Well, anyway, let me just show you the design. We've got some lapis lazuli going around there. And then we have some gold blocks. Ooh, yes, looking very nice. And in the middle there we have the redstone glowstone. Redstone glowstone. Yeah, anyway. Uh, because behind there is a redstone torch. Because obviously you need that for this to work. And there we go. I think it does have a rather nice effect as it comes down and onto the book because if you back away, I mean I used to have torches inside there, if you back away, the way that the light works, ooh, fancy, and down to here, <laughs> um, we have the maps, I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map, this, uh, well, I did have a couple more, a couple of, a couple more maps. Yes, is that English enough? Um, <laughs> but in the one area, I think actually it could have been this area. One of these two areas, I got killed. It was a strange thing actually because I had paused the game and I went AFK, so to speak. 
came back and had died. And I thought, how can I die when I've paused the game? What I realised is I hadn't actually paused the game because if I press this, this isn't the pause option. Things still happen in the background while this menu is up. Um, and so I drowned, basically. Uh, right. So, yeah, those that's the map wall. And as you can see, it's all cobblestone. And I thought, yeah, that's that's nice. Wall, cobblestone wall, another wall, another cobblestone wall. I made the ceiling cobblestone. So I had the idea to make the rest of it cobblestone. And so there you go. Everything is co everything is cobblestone. And so uh, there we go. Now let me let me take you down where we're going to <coughs> into the nether. We shall go. Uh, sorry, once again. <laughs> I just like to. Uh, <laughs> And songs are appropriate. Hello, Mr. Pigman. So here we go. This is the Nether, as you may have already noticed. <laughs> Let me just uh, trot on through here. <laughs> uh, this was the tunnel I made to get through there quicker to this portal. Now the reason for putting these this cover over is because ghasts can still like appear and sometimes even blazes will shoot at you so as you can see there's one up there if you kind of stand up there somewhere it will shoot at you so. and let us pop through this one this is the way to <coughs> excuse me this is the way to a little melon farm! Yay! A portal all the way to a melon farm! Isn't that good? Uh, actually, no. If we go through here... Oh, it falls on fire again. This is the skeleton spawner. Oh! Oh! Yeah. We need to put a piece of glass in there. We didn't come to this one. Uh, I will show you the double spawner as well, briefly. But over here, this is our uh, little area. This is... See, we've got a glowstone uh, block up there. Because, really, th this is just to light up this room and to do a bit of enchanting. Um, we've mainly got in a, a few stacks of arrows, as you may see, uh, and a, a bit of food as well. Uh, this is where we keep the bones, because obviously, being a skeleton spawner, it, you're going to get a few bones. <laughs> and a few bows as well. <laughs> um, is there anything in the furnace? Oh, oh, glass. Yes. Let me just take a few out. Uh, I'll pop those back in there. Oops. That was a silly thing to do. <sighs> oh, forget it. I'll, I'll just keep them on me now. Uh, oh. <laughs> Crafty uh, skeleton there standing on the... Thing, it. I think. Say about to put a pane of glass. In the other ones, I'll just put the block of glass in there. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's just to stop them shooting at us because, as you can see, they. That's the spawner. This is how you do an XP farm, basically. Uh, you've got a spawner there. You stand within a certain. Rain radius or range. Of the spawner and they will spawn basically uh, they will go down under ground there they go up a water sort of type thing up there uh, about 22 blocks or so and then they will drop here where all we need to do give them a few punches and it gives us XP. As you can see, the glowy thing there. Uh, this is for throwing stuff away that we don't want, such as leather boots, uh, leather tools, 
We don't want that, do we? Uh, <laughs> let's go back into the nether, as you see in that bit now. Um, let me go... Let's have a try. Doesn't seem to be a ghast around, but I'm going to run anyway and go through this portal. Which leads us to the the village that I just briefly shown you from the uh, from the spawner there. This was pretty much my first base of operations. Um, if I just jump up there, see, there's a couple of beds there. Um, if we want to sleep the night away, the village uh, villager spawner is over there, as you can probably see. Um, uh, over that way, that's <laughs> that's where I uh, sort of first came up with the cactus defense system, uh, but I didn't completely carry it out because I kind of moved on. <laughs> um, look from this village, uh, still some basic stuff. I mean, we've got uh, oh whole bunch of emeralds because of uh, trading with the villagers here. Um, obviously we've got uh, chest, another chest with some stuff though. Not sure why there's just one weight in each of these uh, sections, but yeah. Uh, see, that was where I started to make some carpet and then I kind of gave up and it's just more of a welcome mat now. Uh, there are those jungle trees, and that l the light that you can see just there is where I just was. Um, it's actually a little bit quicker to come through the nether over to here, rather than over the land, because there's quite a bit of water actually, and, well, it takes a little bit longer. Let us pop back through the portal because that's pretty much all to see in this world. Let's shut that. Hello, Mr. Light. Mm. Nothing there. And that is literally just a torch. And there we go. So, um, yeah. Hope you've enjoyed that little tour. Uh, this is... The, the nether, if you can see it. I'm, I apologise if it's a bit dark on the video. Um, it does tend to... Oops, excuse me. It does tend to come out as a bit dark on the video for some reason. So, obviously this bit will be dark because I'm walking through a tunnel. I hope you've enjoyed that tour of my... Uh, sort of... Little sort of world, in a sense. Minecraft. This is kind of where everything has been happening for at least like the last two months. And mainly kind of the last two weeks where uh, Turbo Tool has been joining me in the game. I mean, he's been good enough to have watched me stream. And so uh, he's been helping me a hell of a lot. He's, do he's helped me do a lot more <laughs> than I probably would have on my own. Uh, I think I mentioned that in uh, in, a, in the in the last video. It, it really has helped. Uh, like I say, just yesterday we got all of the trophies, so the game is 100% complete. And uh, yeah, so there we go. That is my Minecraft PS4, which. Like I said, I hope you have enjoyed watching. I've, en I've enjoyed showing around, uh, showing you around. Um, the next video will be based on the next stream. So, like I say, I will be putting a link to my Twitch stream page where uh, I hope you will join us uh, to take on the weather. Obviously. It's not going to be just us taking on the wither. There will be a bit of preparation as in getting the third score and basically preparing to take on the wither. Um, and obviously you will see the, uh, 
Hello, Mr. Piggy. <laughs> uh, you will see the the way that we do it. I mean, obviously, there are, there are many ways people um, take on the wither. And there are many ways, obviously, you can do it. I don't know. It's a complete mystery to me. I don't know how we're going to do it. It's uh, it's going to be Turbo Tooley's idea. He says it's going to be very easy. We should be able to beat it with just our fists. This is <laughs> this is what he has got planned. I don't know, but you'll have to join me. Uh, at the moment, the day is very early hours of well, not very early, but early hours of Saturday, the seventh of February. He will be joining me again on well let me think he said about four days so um four days saturday sunday monday so possibly wednesday he'll be joining me next wednesday uh that date will be the 11th so Put that date in your calendars, 7th of February, 2015, 7th, the 11th of February, 2015, I think that's when he'll be joining me again, uh, and I'll be able to stream it, um, I will probably start the stream, if possible, around 9pm GMT, that's Greenwich Mean Time, that's UK time basically for anyone watching outside of the UK and so I hope you will join me then I have babbled on way too much uh, this video has gone on a lot longer than I wanted it to in a way but it's, I hope you've enjoyed the tour and my explanation of things and my little stories um, I hope you will join me again uh, in my next videos if you want to see any more please subscribe um, <clears throat> excuse me. If you've liked this video, please leave a like. And if you want to see us take on the wither, please do join us in my stream, which will hopefully happen, like I say, February 11th, 2015, at approximately 9 pm GMT. Thank you for watching. All that's left to say is. Bye.